Hey guys, um, it's Camille Sec here again. Today we're going to be going over how to best manage all these numerous passwords that we have, that we are required to create for virtually every site we visit, from e-commerce to social media. Now the question is, how do we manage all these numerous passwords that we are required to create whenever we visit a site? To do business, or to have fun on our social media site, we are required to create a password and a username and to manage this password. And they also tell us that as a best practice in security, you are not supposed to be using the same password across multiple platforms, right? So if you have your you know, banking password, you have your network password, you have your emails and all what have you, and social media password, you should not be using them across platforms. That is the best security measure. So now the question is, how do you manage all these numerous passwords that we are required to create? All right. There are multiple sites out there that, you know, uh, that can help us to, you know, manage our password, you know, document them securely, and we can have access to them whenever we want to, you know, use the password or, you know, get access to the password. All right. So, Example of some of these uh, password managing tools, we have the KeyPass, we have the LastPass, we have the Dashlane, iPassword, we have um, Kaspersky, we have the NotPass and what have you. Actually, this is one password, you know, what have you. So, you know, now, which one do we choose, right? Some of them are not free. Some of them you require to pay and you require to pay subscriptions and, you know, but my personally, whatever the one that I use and the one I recommend is the key pass. Number one, you're not required to pay for it, you know, and two, it is an open source. So it means all the uh, the security community have vetted the code and then they've actually proved that there is nothing in the code that is going to be capturing, you know, or transferring or sniffing our password and everything that's to be verified by a third party you know, uh, uh, people organization. So it's verified that is an open source and there is nothing malicious in the code that's gonna be stealing all our password. All right, so that's why I recommend the key pass. But then again, the choice is completely yours. You can choose whichever one you wanna use. All right, so that being said, let's go to this link here and then we can see how we easily we can download this. Okay. So, like I said, so we're going to go into this site here that says what? Uh, Keypass.info. And right off the back, you notice that they have two versions of this. They have uh, the installer for Windows and also have installer for a portable device. So the portable device is actually your USB key, your USB drive. You can have your USB and then you can download this password management tool on your USB key as you go. And also you can download it directly on your machine and then you can use that to manage your password. All right, so let's go ahead and download this one here. And it's gonna take some time to download. All right, so now the download has completed. So we're gonna start this program. All right, yes. And then, yes, we're going to select English. If English is your language, or you can choose whatever language you want to use. And then we accept the, uh, the agreement. We're going to go to the next. All right. And then we're going to go next. We're going to go next. And I create a, a, a desktop shortcut. We want to do that. And then we go next. And then we install. All right, finish. And right there, you see this is already here. All right, so now we, we have a download and this is how it's gonna look like. And um, 
we're going to create a all right so it's going to ask us to create uh, a database so we're going to click on ok and then we're going to store our database locally to our document and then we click on ok so now it's going to ask us to create a master password that we're going to be using for this password manager and that's the only password you're technically required to remember because once you open up this manager, you have access to all your password and then you can right click and copy and paste them and then you would even you seeing the password. All right, so the very thing, uh, the, one of the most important thing here is to make sure you select a master password that you're gonna be able to remember because when you forget this password, there's nobody that can help you to recover your master password. It is very, very important to create a password that is strong number one and also the password a password that you can remember because if you don't remember this password there is nobody who can help you recover this password all right so that being said you're going to choose a password that is strong and then you're going to repeat it again all right so we're going to go to okay the password is weak, so well again, because I'm using this as a demo, but you can choose a stronger password, you know, that is gonna meet the requirement. Are you sure that you want to use this master password? All right, so let's say no, and then we're gonna go back in there and make it a bit stronger. All right, how about we do this? Okay, and then we're gonna suit the same password here. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be strong. All right, so you're gonna give it your database name, whatever name you wanna give it. So you're gonna be passwords. And then you click and then you can skip on this. All right, so right there, you have your password manager, you have uh, the various group, you have the general, the windows, the network, the in internet, the e mail, home banking, and what have you, all these groups. And again, you can create multiple groups. So let's say you wanna add another group, you go here and you create a group, you add group. Maybe you wanna call this group social media. All right, let's, let's get out of this. Then we're gonna go add a group. All right, so I'm gonna to go to social media. It's gonna be the name of my group. And then I just added another group here. And if I wanna add another group, I can go and do it. So let's say in my social media, I, I highlight on that and then I'm gonna enter a password for say my Facebook account. I go in here and I'm gonna, so he, this is where you're gonna click where it says add entry. So once you click on the add entry, this page, this little window will open up for you and then you can type in the name of your social media, Facebook, and then whatever your username is, if your username is, you know, uh, good buddy, that's your username. And then you can select a password. If you want, you can click on these three ellipses here and then you can adopt whatever password they recommend for you. But if you don't want to adopt this password and you want to you know, create your own password, fair enough. You can create your own password by say, all right? And this is going to be your password. You can repeat that again. All right. And then you can add, if you have a URL, you can add your URL that Facebook.com. And whatever notes you want to write, you can write it. If you want it to expire, you can set it to expire and give a date and time for it to expire. But again, you don't want it to expire. You can always come in here and change your password. If you feel that like your password has been compromised, you can always come back and change it and, uh, and uh, kind of uh, update it on your social media profile. All right, so you click on OK. So you have your social media. So let's say you want to go to uh, your Facebook account. You open up the facebook.com 
You don't even have to double click and open up this page or this window anymore. You can just right click and say copy username and you paste it on your username entry port. You can come back again and say copy password. So you see, you're not even going to be opening up this. Your password, the username is going to be stored and then you can just right click and copy and paste on the, you know, the site you're visiting. All right. So this is the, uh, the Windows version of it. And again, we can always go back in here and, and download uh, the portable, you know, uh, uh, download as well. So how do you do that? You click on that. All right, so now this is look, this is open up. So we have this download. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, we're gonna extract this into a USB drive or a USB device that we have connected. So I just connected a USB drive, and this is it right here. It's empty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop what we just downloaded here into the USB. And this is going to be the zip file here. And then I can um, extract all and then you extract it. All right. So now we have extracted this in our USB drive. So how, right. So uh, how are we going to run it? So now how are we going to run it? We're just going to click on the the, the keypad here and then we open up a new a brand new image again so again this is going to be on your usb drive this is not going to be on your computer right so we're going to go and do the same thing that we did we're going to create a database you know we're going to give it a database name we save our database in in uh, um we want to save our database in a usb drive we save it and we give it a, a new master password. So we're going to select a strong master password this time around. Okay, we're going to repeat that again. All right, there you go. All right, you give it a database name. So probably we're gonna say password. Let's say USB, USB drive, something like that to differentiate the one we had on, on our machine. All right, so we're good to go. So you see, we have a brand new setup again for our portable device. So uh, the choice is yours. If you wanna download this program on your local machine, you can do it. And if you want to download it on uh, on the flash drive, you can do it just like we did right now. So I think the the, the flash drive will be better because you have a strong password. Even if you lose your pass uh, your flash drive, you are not nobody's going to be able to get access to your password. But the danger is once you lose the flash drive, you lose all your password. So again, the choice is yours. If you think you want to, you know, install this program locally on your machine, you can do it. If you want to install it on your flash drive you could do it as well but again you have to make sure you don't lose that flash drive if you lose that if you if you lose that uh, uh, flash drive nobody's going to be able to get access to the password because it is encrypted or it has a master password before anybody can see all your passwords but then again you're going to you're not going to get access to all your passwords hey uh, so before i conclude the video I also want to point out that you can also download uh, KeePass, download and install KeePass on your phone as well. So I'm using an Android phone. So you can go to Play Store and download the KeePass app. And then you can, you know, go through exactly what we did. You know, uh, after downloading, you create a master password and, you know, you set up your own, you set up your password and then you add a group and you add password on your phone as you go if you really want the phone version and i believe there's a there, there's a an, there's, there's an iphone version out there so those of you who are using iphone i believe there's a version for iphone you can search in your 
uh, in your app store and then see if there's a version for KeePass that you can download. But I'm using Android, so we're gonna go ahead and start doing it. Uh, you click on your Play Store. And then uh, you can, of course, uh, search for the app, which is KeePass. And uh, there you go. So you have uh, <clears throat> the app already here. You can click on install. And this is going to install the KeePass app for you. This is complete. So you can open up your, your download. And then we're going to go through the same process. You click and accept. Now you're going to open up, you create a database. Uh, the location of your database, if you want your database to be, this is the default location. I, will, I would like to keep it at the default location here. So I'm going to create a password. All right, so <clears throat> now that we have our password entered, you're going to create, uh, we're going to click on create a database. All right, so as you can see, guys, uh, due to security, uh, you cannot actually record this uh, uh, interface on your phone. Uh, if you do record it, it's going to be just black screen. You're not going to see anything. So you can't even take a screenshot of this thing. You know, so that's how it, uh, the security is inbuilt. So this is the app. It's just the same as we went over uh, using the, the, the laptop, I mean, the, the, the desktop version and then the USB version. You can actually, um, you know, follow the same process. You create a group and then uh, inside your group, you can have your multiple uh, uh, account that you want to create on the password. You can choose a strong password or you can adopt whatever password they recommend and then you can save it right so because of our security you cannot even record this this thing not even going to allow you to record anything past when you authenticate into the app all right so if you like the video um you know give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and uh i will see you next time peace out thanks